Hey you, YouTuber, things are gonna happen here. Stick around, we're getting ready to open a can of chicken tortilla soup. Alright. <laughs> Go ahead and get started on this. In there very well. We're gonna start with uh, making our chicken broth. I just got a, some chicken. This is about a pound of chicken. It's a giant chicken breast. Whatever kind of chicken you want to use. Normally chicken breast is using this. Pour a little bit of oil in here. I just happen to have the giant gallon of oil. So what are we doing first? You get the chilies out of this. Uh, I'm going to season this chicken and sear it and like saute it first, get it brown a little bit. And then put the chilies and like a bunch of water and like some garlic cloves in there. I'm going to boil that for about 20 or 30 minutes. Okay. So I'm making like a, a broth. I'm just using adobo like we use in another video. This is a spicy one. It's basically just a Hispanic seasoning salt. Oh, it's making me sneeze. Oh god. <coughs> no. I'm gonna throw it in there. I'm gonna wash my hand. I'm just gonna brown this. So. Look, but we have tongs from last time that I never used. <laughs> probably put a little too much oil, but that's alright. Yeah. Okay. And while we're doing that, I guess I can go ahead and get these peppers cleaned up. So to get them going, you're just going to break off the stem and then dump the seeds out. I don't have a trash can, so I'm just going to put them on this cutting board and then I'll just throw it away in a minute. You just don't really want the seeds in there because they're inedible. So, all right, I'm gonna, this is a guajillo chili, I believe. I don't know, I had big bags of that, a bunch of bags of chilies, and I threw away the bags they were in and put them in Ziplocs, so I had no idea what's what. I'm pretty sure it's Guayo when I looked it up or something like that. This is a pasilla, which is for an ancho. It's close. They're basically, it's basically a dry poblano pepper. So, so, yeah, I get rid of like the stuff like that. The stem, stemmy stuff, you know, the, the ribs. This mm -hmm. one doesn't really have as many of that, much of that stuff like that. So it's basically, it doesn't, we're going to bloom this up. So these won't, that won't bloom up. So. That's why I'm taking it out. Okay. I'm just gonna peel this, that's all I'm doing. Yeah. Alright, so we got some decent color on that. That's all I was going for. Um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna throw, go ahead and throw my garlic cloves in there that I peeled. Throw the chili peppers that I've de-seeded and stuff and not a barrel, not that. I don't know how that came in there. We're gonna pour about five to six cups of water in this now. It's about five cups, five and a half or seven cups of water. So your chicken didn't cook all the way through. No, right? I'm going to boil it now in this. Uh, so I just did that to get a little color on it. I'm going to scrape all the brown stuff off the bottom. You know, brown, brown's delicious. Yeah. And I'm going to put a little, you don't have to do this either, but I'm going to put a little chicken bouillon powder. Let's have about five cups of water. I'm gonna put like maybe three. These are big teaspoons, so let's do two and a half of those. I'll say that's about four teaspoons of bouillon powder. Four to five. Because this stuff's pretty salty. So I can stir it around. Oh, try not to get it everywhere. Okay, we're just gonna bring it to a boil and then once it comes to a boil, turn it down and like let it simmer for about 30 minutes. So the chicken gets cooked through. Actually, I'm gonna put, this is a big chicken breast. I'm gonna put this last cup in there, I think, of water. Six cups. Cause my chicken breast was like two, like two and a half inches thick or something. Yeah. You basically want to cover it all, almost all the way. It was one of those Tyson chickens? It might have been, yeah, probably. Yeah. It didn't say Tyson's on it, but it probably was from the. They're the only ones that have the Superman chickens? The steroid chickens. Our chicken is, as you can see, chicken's back at it again. Yeah, like I can see it's boiling now. And uh, I'm just going to turn it down a little bit. I don't know what, like medium ish heat. And we're just going to let this simmer for 30 minutes. So that's basically it. 
I don't have another burner. I could do the next step, but I have to put the, leave this on the burner. So. Oh, you do? Yeah, the next step, uh, I'm going to char tomatoes and stuff. It's been about 30 minutes on our chicken broth here that we have going. I'm going to take my chicken out. My chicken's kind of falling apart because I grabbed it with my tongs and the thickest part to make sure it was cooked through. Because I don't ever cook chicken, boil, or like simmer it like this. I don't ever cook it like this, so I'm just making sure. Go ahead and take it out on my clean cutting board. I went and washed this and my knife. I'm just let that sit over here on the side. We don't really need it right now. So you cool just on. take it out, let it cool, and what do you get? The broth, we're gonna take off the heat now, so I'm gonna turn it off for now. That's what it looks like. Get Mine's uh, reduced down because I kind of had it a boil a little higher than I should have, but that's okay. If it's too uh, like salty in the end, I'll just add a little more water to thin it out. But it, looks I think, like, it looks a little browner. It, yeah, it's from the chilies and stuff. Okay. Dude, All right, I'm just, I'm, just, I'm just taking it off the heat. Oh, I see what you did. Because I don't need it right now. I'm going to I gotta do the next part, which is making our roasted Let's like see. tomato and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and get another pan going on here on the heat. Oh. What we're going to do is I got some tomatoes here that I'm just going to like basically just put in here and kind of get them like real brown or charred on the outside. And I'm going to do that. I got an onion over here. I'm going to do the same thing. And like a couple garlic cloves, and we're gonna char them up, and that's what we're gonna do. Oh, we and then we're gonna blend all this up. In our pho video. Yeah, yeah, it's like the same kind of thing, but we're gonna make like a salsa kind of with it. I guess you can call it. And normally we would do this. You would do this while the other thing was. Pouring, yeah, you right? could do this while the broth was simmering with your chicken in it. Uh, you could do this, or you could, if you have a gas stove, you could literally do this on the gas stove and just put them on the flame, and like turn them over a few times, just get them like charred a little bit. Even like a, a broiler would work, but we don't. I don't want to go get use my broiler. I can do it on on the stove. But you literally, if you have a broiler like your oven broiler, you can stick all these underneath there in the onion. I'm gonna cut it in half. Just stick it in there and get them charred, like we did for the pho video. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the same thing. It makes it a little easier if you cut the onion. This is a big onion. I'm gonna cut it in half. You don't have to do this, but I'm getting rid of these paper layers, and you don't want those in there. I'm just gonna cut it in half. This is a juicy, a juicy onion. Tasty beverage. And it's all right if it touches your chicken or whatever. Doesn't matter, the chicken's cooked. All right, this is feeling pretty warm. I'm gonna try doing this without any oil in the pan. No, I'm gonna put a little bit of oil. If your pan is non-stick or if you have a cast iron or something that has a good non-stick layer on it, you don't have to put any oil in it. This is a non-stick pan, but it's like, I don't know, I'm just gonna put a little oil, I don't trust it. Because if you ever put something in a non-stick pan without oil, you know, if you try to cook it, it gets brown kind of, but it has a, it kind of looks weird. It's like dry looking. Let's go ahead and... Not even hot. Okay, wonderful. Oh, okay, that part's hot. See, also without oil in there, I wouldn't even know if it was hot because like that part's not in any oil, so it's not making any noise. Just throw all that in there. Yeah, yeah. Mad at me. I mean, I'll be able to fit all this in here right now, but that's all right. Just... Wow, what's going on with that one? He was dancing. What, back here? No, no, your, your onion. Oh, it was hot. It was hot, hot, hot. Hot, hot, hot. Oh, garlic now. Forgot. We put a couple cloves of garlic in there. We do three cloves, I think. I think that'll be pretty good. I like lots of garlic. So. about like five, five heads of garlic. You just get to run out again, huh? Yeah, like, for some reason, garlic's been hard to find around here. They had a lot of it. I did they? I took like, I took like all the Roma tomatoes they had. I think, I think, I, I think an older woman wanted to buy some of them. I took like 10 of them. I was like, sorry, I'm here first and I need them. I'm gonna put a little more oil on there, actually. The place where it doesn't have oil, it's just like kind of not really doing anything, so. You thought you could escape frying on this season of OMG Meals. You were wrong. <laughs> it's true. I tried to not fry something for this video, but this is what happens. Oh, that's working better. Ah! Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oil. Stop popping. Because these onions are really juicy, that's why. See, if you have a broiler, this isn't going to happen. 
because it's not going to fry up and pop in all the oil. You're not going to have your oil going on. All right, that garlic looks pretty good. All right, stop it. You need like a lid or something. Good idea. Oh, good wow. idea. You got one. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start taking some of this out and putting it in our blender bowl here. I got out my blender bowl. Um, I'm going to take out this garlic and stuff because it's already ready to go. I'm going to pop it in there. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. See that? Yeah. The ones look like that. The lid was an okay idea, but then like it started like splattering and getting really loud. So because it was maintaining the moisture that would boil out, and then it would just fall back down and burn and pop up again. I'm gonna take this onion out because it's all right. Pop it in the blender. Did you fart? No, that was, that was it. Pop. All right, I'm gonna just take the other onion out. That one's pretty good. You can go for blacker than I'm going, like darker looking, but I'm trying to be careful because I'm afraid of setting off a smoke alarm. Oh, it's heated up. It's fine. I got a bag over here. Yeah. No, I don't, uh, Fire Marshal. I don't. I'm sorry. I, I do not have a bag over the smoke detector. I'm going to go ahead and take the rest of these out. Like you can see, they're pretty black and charred now, somewhat, so. Go ahead and go ahead and turn this off. I'm gonna bring out my uh, my broth bag. I think this should be cooled off. Yeah, this is pretty cool now. Um, we're gonna fish out those chilies that were in there. Remember we had those chilies boiling with our chicken? Oh god, they're like falling apart. I'm gonna fish those out of there. And you're putting them in the blender too, huh? Yep. That one just like disintegrated. We're also going to put the broth in there, but there's like garlic and stuff in here that I want to get rid of. So. You know what? No, I'm just going to pour it. I'm going to pour as much of this as I can fit in here and blend it up. I'm just going to start pouring some of this. Maybe not all of it to start because I don't want it to. I'm not. I'm almost all the way to the top. I just don't want it to like, you know, have be too much liquid and explode out of the blender. So. How to use it. Uh, Look it all up. I know we got like a fancy blender right here. Whatever blender you have is fine. It doesn't really matter. It works. Hand blender? Hand blender, like an immersion one. Um, you could try doing that, but it may not break up all the chilies and stuff very well. So you might want to strain it. Let's actually let's pour the rest of our broth in there. I think I can fit all of it. It's got, some, it's got a hemi in it. All right, now we're gonna finish up the soup. I'm gonna also put some chipotles in it. This is optional. If you can't find the chilies that I put in there, if you don't have chilies, if you can find chipotles in a can. And um, these are like these are in a jar. These are already jalapenos that are smoked and like reconstituted in like an adobo sauce, like a tomato sauce, a bunch of other stuff in it. Okay. It's really good. They usually come in cans. I found this one in a jar, so I can put it in the fridge when I'm done. That, but, yeah, but this is already diced and stuff, so I don't really have to blend it. But if you can't, if you can find the normal chipotles and you can't find the other chilies, um, put them in there while you're blending up the tomatoes and all that to get them all it all blended up. Because you don't want to throw them in their hole; they won't really break down in your soup. We got our we got our pot out that we boiled our chicken in. Uh -huh. I kind of wiped out the gross stuff on the side that was stuck, like seeds and stuff of the uh -huh. that I didn't blend up. And I'm going to turn it back. Turn it back on. I'm going to pour this. Yeah. I'm gonna pour this in here. The what we blended. Well, that's starting to heat up. I'm gonna put the some more of our our last ingredients in here. So the chipotle peppers I was talking about earlier that are in a can or whatever you know in my jar. Uh huh. They're already diced. This is why I didn't blend them up. I'm gonna go ahead and put like a 
don't know, big teaspoon or so. A teaspoon. You need about like a teaspoon and a half, two teaspoons of this. So. What is that, cumin? Yeah, I kind of measured in my hand. So I bring a thing to measure with because I'm dumb. Okay, maybe just a little more. I like cumin a lot. Put like a teaspoon and a half or so of this oregano. This is Mexican oregano. You can use whatever you want. Whatever you have works fine. There's different types? Yeah, they're a little different, but this is fine. Whatever you have is fine. I didn't know there were different types of oregano. Yeah. You just stir that in. Go ahead and dump in my beans. It's just a can of black beans. Whatever kind of beans you want to use, I should have drained these. I don't have anything to drain it into. Drain your beans in a sink if you have a sink. It's a lot easier. <laughs> you can put the bean juice in there too, but yeah. I drink most of it, so I'm gonna go put those in there. <laughs> that made a mess. <laughs> That's how it is. <laughs> oh my god. And uh, I'm gonna go dump my corn in here. Let's put about just going everywhere. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Probably about a cup of frozen corn. It's hard to tell, my bag was already open. I don't know. Whatever you feel comfortable with. Just, so, so people cooking at home, like, could they use a can of corn? Yeah, a can of corn would work just fine. Okay. I actually looked a little more. I don't think I put enough. There's like more beans. We kind of want the corn and beans to be about the same close. amount. Just dump the same thing in there. It's not enough in there to use anyways and anything else. This chicken's been cooled off now, so I'm gonna go ahead and shred it up so. Yeah, perfect, just showing her, just cut, shredded and kind of breaking it all up. Can't break these cuffs. Shred it up decently and then normally you would put, you could, you put this in your bowl if you're at a restaurant and they're fancy, you know, they put the chicken on the top and make it look nice. Yeah. I'm just gonna throw it all in here to warm it back up. This is home style. We're just going to bring this back to like a boil, let this simmer for about 10 or 15 minutes and then it's it's done and we can plate it up. We got all our um, our black beans, our corn, our chicken back in there and our broth and everything. We let it simmer for about 15 minutes and now I'm just going to, you can kind of see what it looks like now. It's a little thicker actually, it's kind of thickened up a little bit because it's reduced down a little bit. You can see all that stuff in there. Yeah. And uh, that's basically done. I'm going to turn it off and I'm going to taste it for seasoning. That it, this depends on your chicken broth you use. Like that con that broth concentrate I used is very salty. Um, so I'm gonna give it a taste and see. That's good, but I'm gonna put a little bit more salt in it. Put probably about half a teaspoon of kosher salt in it. Let's give that a little a little stir. Oh yeah, that's good. That's really good. Just put just a tiny bit though, because I like my food a little over salty. Now what you were saying, if you if you have too much salt, what would you do then? You put a little. You probably need to water it down a little bit. Just add a little more water to it, or like low sodium chicken broth if you have some. Not that if you if you have low sodium chicken broth, use that instead of that, I guess. Okay. But you can water it down a little bit. It'll make it a little like thinner the soup, but um, if it's too salty, you know. Just go but ahead you're also going to put all this other stuff in it, so it might help. Yeah, yeah. Well, well I'm going to put chips and stuff in it so that's salty. Oh, you're right. And Never cheese mind. and sour cream. So, so you want to go less salty to start with. You don't want it to be too salty. If it's too salty for you, you need to water it down. Okay. So, that's it. So our broth is done. Our soup is done. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and plate it up, and uh, we'll catch you in a minute, I guess. Dun, dun, dun. I always do this with my hands. I don't know what to do with my hands. So. <laughs> Why am I here with you? Welcome to the Thunderdome. <laughs> We're ready. It's all plated up. We're gonna go ahead and open these uh, beverages today. Well, we got frosty root beer. You'll love it. It's got a little dwarf dude on it. Smells pretty good. This doesn't really go with Mexican food, I guess, but I don't know. I like root beer, so that's what I just like red root beer. Tastes like a root beer, like A and W root beer or something. 
like good root beer. Oh, it does. It's pretty this good. This is good. Yeah. Uh, a lot of sarsaparilla in it. <laughs> taste the taste the hops. Oh yeah, I heard they put more hops in it. I'm gonna go ahead and dig in. <laughs> Uh, first, my limes that I put in here for presentation have kind of sunk down into the soup. Just like my avocados red. that I put more oh, this is good stuff. I'm gonna go I ahead like and, this. I'm going to squeeze a little bit more lime in it. This is good stuff. Where did you find You found this in the store? Yep. Right in the store? Yep. It was, uh, yep, right there in the grocery store. I'm going to go ahead and start mixing in and getting the color here. Make love. Make love. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, your thing? Oh my god, that is so, that is so Arizona. No, <laughs> no. With the, the lime and like the beans and like the corn and like the chips crunched up into it and the cilantro, the avocado, it is, and cheese, sour cream. You can leave out sour cream and cheese if you want. It's not really as traditional. Some cheeses, but not cheddar cheese. That's You're what I, me about that's it. what I had, but like all the stuff in there in the in one bite is so good. Mm. It's my rival, the chili. Let's just that. get into the origin. The origin of this, um, I think Adam said we're going to start doing a one vegetarian, one non-vegetarian, on and off potentially. But he just came to me yesterday and he was like, I'm making tortilla soup. Yeah. Um, I don't know, I was looking. It's hard for me to ex escape Mexican and like Southwestern and like... I guess I'm Bobby Flay, I don't know. No, 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 no. You're Bobby Hill. <laughs> <laughs> Is it like, that's so Arizona. <laughs> I just wanted to make this, really. I don't know. Yeah, we hadn't done it. And he was like, this. I, I was like, yeah, we, I can't believe we haven't done that yet. Yeah, we talked about we talked about making tortillas, chicken tortilla soup or tortilla soup a long time. We're like, He thought I was going to make it the way that we usually make it. We used to make it. Yeah. And difficulty-wise, what would you think this would be? Um, difficulty you'd say is between medium and easy, potentially, and that's because well we had to use a blender. That's one thing about Mexican food is that you always have to pretty much use a blender. It seems. Not always, but stuff with chilies, dried chilies and stuff. Yeah, you usually have to use a blender or something. Because the skin, if you don't like cut it up really fine, the skin of it can be kind of hard and like mm -hmm. get in your teeth and stuff. It's a lot of avocado in here because I kept adding more to it. <laughs> yeah. You have to go shrink him down. <laughs> yeah, you put it on the bottom. It's like, oh crap, I should have put it on the top. Then you put more on top. I think that this one probably should be medium just because it, there's a whole lot of like... There's a, little, a lot of little things. And, and if you have two burners like a normal person, uh, you have to do them at the same time and that could be a little bit more challenging. Yeah, that's true. So yeah, we'll go with medium. Cost, I don't know. Mm. Chicken was like two bucks. Um, the cilantro and stuff was like a dollar, but you have a ton of that, so. God, this is good stuff. Let's say two tomatoes were like a dollar fifty. Onion was like a, a dollar. It was a giant onion. I bought two of them, so it's like fifty cents. Mm. So this whole thing costs about six, seven dollars, probably. Ten dollars, maybe, if you wouldn't you buy all the stuff. If you buy all the stuff with like, you still have leftover stuff. So usually when you ca when I calculate the cost, it's how much of what I use. Oh yeah. Because if you want to be small, I'll say like yeah. seven bucks, six or seven bucks, probably. Yeah. I was going to serving size from this because we said that. And so there's like six servings maybe in here? Five or six, yeah. It's how big a bowl you have. You're a big, how big a boy are you? Substitutions, you were talking about different types of powdered chilies and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, substitutions, uh, you could, uh, if you can't find the dried whole peppers like I had, mm -hmm. Um, but you can find the chipotles in a can or like in that jar like I had with the like that You can use that instead just use that but don't boil them like I did the dried ones Just put it in when we boiled it like at the final step Just put like twice as much of the chipotles Because no. you want some of that chili flavor in there So try to get the try to get the, the whole chilies in the package You'll get a whole bunch of them and you'll have them for a while They don't go bad really You can so. hang them around your house and scare off evil spirits or something I'm not sure <laughs> I think that's what they're for <laughs> That's what I do with them. I don't know about you. All right. Uh, any other substitutions? You don't have to put all the crap on top of the bowl that he had. Cheese and sour cream and all that stuff. You don't have to have that. Um, but. Yeah. But I think that you should definitely put, like, lime in it. If you don't want to roast tomatoes and all that onion stuff like I did with the blender, yeah. there's an easy, even easier way to do this. You can buy the, like, chili, like, tomatoes in a can that are roasted. 
You know, fire, fire, fire oh, rescue. Yeah. You can buy like one or two of those. And Merrick Glenn's my favorite, but they freaking stop carrying it. You can, my... If you don't want to use a blender at all, you literally just dump that in there with the broth that you made with the chicken. And then your chilies. If you have chilies and dry chilies, you should blend that up with the broth and then pour mm. it into the tomatoes and all the other stuff. Mm. You could do that instead. That's an easier way to make this. But I want to do it from fresh. Would you change anything next time? I don't. I don't think so. I mean, maybe make it a little spicier, because I like my food spicier. So maybe have some hot sauce or something, yeah. salsa, or maybe put some of those lower ball chilies or something in it. Um, Speedball? No. Chili? No. Maybe a little spicier, but I think it's really good. Hopefully you enjoyed this video as much as we did making it. Hopefully you enjoyed eating it as much as he did. And uh, make sure you go out and get some of these Frosties. They're pretty good. Our cold one for this one was a good choice. Uh, Go check out other stuff. Go check out our website. Go do all the things. Oh, one thing I didn't say. Share the video with other people. Like, click the like button. Click the subscribe button. Click the share button. Click... Comment on it. Comment. Leave yeah, us a com comment. Yeah, comment. Yeah, yeah. Leave us a comment. That'll be helpful. Uh, all Tell those things. Because, like, YouTube won't service their videos unless people interact with them. So, if you like it, please, please like it. I know I sound like an internet beggar, which I am. Uh... But, uh, yeah, that'd be awesome. I hope everybody enjoyed it. Adam's already gone. He's left the building. And I am here, and I'm doing weird stuff with my hands. So, we'll catch everybody next time on OMG Meals. What? No, I told you I'm not doing that anymore. No. No. <laughs> OMG Meals. That's the name of the show, because I remember this time. <laughs> Bye, everybody. We'll see you next time on OMG Meals. Uh, no. <laughs> Is it hot in here, or is it just food dudes? I don't know. Those food dudes sure are dreamy. Oh, you should really, oh you should really check this other food dudes. Oh my god, no. <laughs> oh, oh, it's so hot in here. Oh, oh lord.